Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Ron. This is the case of William V. Scales. Thank you, sir. Good day, everyone. Yeah. Ms. Williams, five years ago, the defendant, who you believe was your father, revealed a shocking family secret that your mother cheated. And you are not his daughter. You and your sister are in court to prove him wrong. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Mr. Scales, you are a retired semi-pro football player and claim it was during one of your away games that Elisa's mother cheated on you with one of your teammates. And he is her father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Scales, why do you believe Elisa's mother cheated? In 1983, we had an away game in Pensacola. And I took Miss Williams with me and we checked into a hotel and I went to bed early because I worked that day and it was a Friday. So about two o'clock in the morning, I wake up and Miss Williams is no longer in the room. How long was she gone? I can't say exactly how long, but I know it was at least an hour or two. Okay. Right. So you believed at that moment that something was going on? Uh, for sure. And Alisa and Tanja, have you ever heard any of this? Not prior to it coming up five years ago. I was 27 at the time. When I spoke with my mom, she had talked to him about the fact that he was questioning paternity of me. When I hung up with her, I had a conversation with him, and he told me that there were some events that he didn't really feel the need to discuss with me at the time, um, that it was a discussion that she wasn't supposed to share with me, and... Um, I spoke with my mom about it later, and she gave me more details of, um, you know, what actually had occurred. And you say this was just five years ago? This was five years ago. And up until that point, you had heard nothing. Right. And 27 is not a good age for this to be brought up if he wants me to have balance in my life. That's a very critical time, I feel, in anybody's life at that age. In your late 20s, you're trying to find yourself, you're trying to figure some things out, and for that to be something thrown in the mix. And my point is, if this was something that was so important to you, so weighed in on your heart, this is something that you should have said you know, right when she was born or, or right when you found my mom said, hey, we're the pregnant again. The reason I didn't say anything is because I wanted to give this child a gift. The gift that I wanted to give her was not having to come to Earth and question who her father was. Well, that wasn't fair for me to have to question that at 27 years old. I'm your parent. I'm not your friend. I'm not your exactly. associate. I'm a parent. And I have responsibilities and duties. I wanted to tell you at 27 because it's important for medical reasons, for moral reasons, that I'd let you know there's a question with your paternity. Important and, and, that and for medical reasons, it's important from when the she beginning. Was from the beginning, I shouldn't have been put yeah, in this situation. Yeah, your mom should have told you. You are you. But, you're but the you're one who brought dad, it up. Right? So listen, when Elisa's mom said, "Okay, I'm pregnant," you had doubts from her birth, even before her birth. Why is it all of a sudden you decided that you needed to share this? This child had nothing to do with her mother leaving that room that night. So I didn't want her to suffer for the effects and the ramifications and repercussions of her mother's action. Why would you sign my birth certificate if you felt like you were not my biological I've father? I never signed your birth certificate, Elisa. Is that the evidence you have? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like I to see that. To you. Please hand me that evidence, Ron. Your Honor. She's presented to the court her birth certificate. You're listed as father. I could be listed as father, but I never signed it. You did not sign it. You did didn't execute it. it. No. At that point, did you have a question of her paternity, meaning I could be this child's father, but I might not be? That's correct. Everything in me feels like I'm his daughter. I feel that I, I look like him. How I, was it presented to you specifically? Really? Mission accomplished. Mr. Really? Scales. Wow, Mr. Yes. Scales. Let me show y'all something and tell y'all something. I do what I want to do. Exactly. Right. That's the problem. Course. Listen, as harsh as Mr. Scales is in this moment, and I do believe his delivery is harsh, I'm wondering when would be the optimal time to say this. If right. you don't feel the need to bring it up at the beginning, where you really felt strongly everything was in question, and you wanted to give me a father and not have me question paternity, then don't have me question paternity. Uh, be my father until the very end. You know, and people say I'm a little gruff sometimes, too, so maybe that's why I can understand what he's saying. What his point is, is I made it my mission 
that even though I doubted this one child, I will not make her feel any differently than any of my other children. In his mind, he's thinking, I did what I set out to do. Be clear. I completely and wholeheartedly empathize and understand what both of you are saying. I mean, I cannot fathom being 27 years old and the 20s are hard on a girl. Just a tough time for young women. And that's the time that he chose to bring it up. I know, baby. Yes. I know that that was really tough on you. Mm -hmm. I was very, very hurt by the question, period. If he felt like someone else was my father, that person could have been in, in the picture from the beginning. But right. this, but now, this is exactly why this, this courtroom is. exists. Because we have to speak for children that are in your position. Right. We try to find out the truth early on exactly. so that it's a, not a situation like this where you remember, you know. Like you're saying, if you were two years old and this came out, you really wouldn't remember all this now. You would just know the man that raised you and, or, and you had a biological father or you might have a relationship if, in fact, he's not your father. I understand your position. My point as I sit at this bench is to try to also help you to understand his because that's how you see the full picture. Exactly. When we've been hurt, and I know you're hurting, I can see it in your eyes. When we've been hurt, it's hard sometimes to understand what the other person's intention was. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Mr. Scales, I want to understand whether you were clear with their mother. I have doubts as it relates to Elisa. I wasn't clear because I didn't want to cause any commotion or dissension. I wanted everything to go as if it was normal. I, I, growing up, I was born at this time. There was never, it was never normal there was always some tension about something. I want to hear from your mother. Ron, could you please escort their mom into the courtroom? Yes, I want to talk to her. Bernard, you are a liar. Ma'am. And you know you are a liar. Hi, ma'am. Miss Williams, I just want to ask you right off the top. Mm. Do you believe Mr. Scales has any reason to doubt that Elisa is his biological daughter? It's no reason at all, Your Honor. If he was gonna doubt a child, he should doubt Tanja. When, when I had the affair with the person in question, when I met I the rest person my case, Your Honor. in question, I didn't even have any kids from him. You're admitting that this night, this night in question, you did leave the room. I did leave. And you did have an affair. I didn't have relations what happened? with him. I did go in his room. And we exchanged numbers. I did have an affair with, with the person in question. I did. So that but night you didn't have... Ab not that night. It was after the, the fact. So that's why I said if it was gonna... If you was gonna question a child, question that one, oh. not the young one. Do you remember Tanja already have been... Was she born then? Oh, yeah, then? she was born. So you believe she... When you all went to Pensacola together, Tanja was... Already born. born, yes. She no. might have been one and a half going no. on two when, when that, there when that happened. Apart. Tanja, oh, what are I, you trying to ask your mother? So, is that why you didn't sign my birth certificate? Or is that why you... He never on... signed the birth certificate. I did put him on Elisa's birth certificate. I... That, but that, is he, but that, is that he listed on Tanja's birth no, certificate? he's not. No, he's not. That, so, which, which would bring... So, wait, does anyone have that birth well, certificate? Have with me. Does anyone have that birth certificate? Can I... Ron, let me see that. Yes, ma'am. He is not. Mr. Scales is not listed as father on her birth certificate. Why not? Now, she was born first. That's correct. Why didn't you list him on Tanja's birth certificate? I really can't give you an answer why I didn't put his name Was on there a under. fear that this teammate you were having the affair with was potentially the father, so you no. just didn't list him? No. The, the story I, doesn't I, hold I water. Know, I know... Neither I know yours. the paternity test is gonna show that he is the father for both of them. I, I need to explain something to you. When I grew up that my stepfather was my dad, and 
hearing people say to me, that's not your daddy. Your daddy lives in Victoria. And when I had gone to Port Lavaca to spend oh, two weeks with my cousin for the summer, and my aunt took me up to this man and said, this is your daddy. That devastated me. But also in the back of my mind, I'm wondering, who is my daddy? Is this my daddy or is this my daddy? I wouldn't dare send my kids through that. I wouldn't dare have my kids hurting like that. So you're saying you refuse to repeat that cycle? I refuse to. And I appreciate the fact that you do not want this cycle to repeat in your girls. I don't. I'm tired of it and I just want it to end. I want this to, this to be the funeral for this situation. It's buried today. So I need to ask respectfully, you've admitted to one affair and that was with one of his teammates. Right. Were there any other affairs, uh, sexual relationships that would cause one or, or both of these young girls to have to doubt their paternity? No. Hmm. Mr. Scales, do you have any other evidence? I have five children, and all of my four other children beside Elisa have brown eyes like mine, and they look more like me. The guy in question has hazel eyes. Elisa has hazel eyes. But they're, they're light brown. They're not hazel. So you feel like she doesn't resemble you or your other children? Correct. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, Alisa, you do see yourself. You see your mom and your dad. In my heart, I feel that he's my dad. I feel that I look like him. I feel that I have mannerisms like him. So we are about to go to the results. Before I do, does anyone have any other evidence they'd like to present? I have this evidence, some research that I had done. Okay, and what is this concerning, And this is about how they perspire like he does. Okay. Uh, you know, the sweat glands. And oh, no, no, we, we really do. Like, I'm surprised we're not sweating All like of that. us, <laughs> all of his children, we, we sweat profusely. Profusely. Yes. So yeah, hyper... She does too. Hyperhidrosis may be genetic. A study indicated that many patients have parents or siblings who also sweat excessively. Mm-hmm. My so you're saying sweats. you've seen the way he perspires and That's sweat. like you poured water on him. And both... Me too. Both I of us. I sweat the same way. The same All way. of us. And you say that further indicates that he is their biological father. Mm -hmm. And he knows that. He Now, the one thing I will say that he, he taught us... I basketball. don't know that. He no. I just he, found he, that he out. Always, he always took us to play basketball. That was that was his thing. He would take us to play basketball and beat us every so time. So you've seen me but, sweat. She, he, Daddy, he's seen her sweat. You've come to my games before. You've seen me how I sweat differently from everyone else on and the where court. Do you, sure. Every time we do something great, you always and where you get that from? You're smart. Where do you get that from? Especially the right. Night. Where do you get? Where does she get that from? So no. you used to say that. Yeah. Well. To her. This is the point. The point is, the event that occurred in 1983, did it happen? What did you do? Who did you, who were you with that night? Like I said, the time in question, I don't know what happened in 83, because I was doing my own thing in 83. There you go, young. Now, 81. Need I say more? How long after you met him did the fair begin? The fair probably started maybe a couple of weeks after. It lasts a very short time. All right, I've heard enough. Ron, the envelope, please. We have two results today. The first one is for Tanja. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Williams v. Scales, when it comes to 33-year-old Tanja Williams, it has been determined by this court Mr. Scales, you are her father. The next result reads as follows. In the case of Williams versus Scales, when it comes to 32-year-old Alisa Williams, 
It has been determined by this court. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Mr. Scales, you are her father. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Look, I'm very pleased when I can give people the answers that they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was not a party to your relationship, so I don't know what happened. It sounds like there were some things that happened between the two of you that created some level of doubt in your mind, Mr. Scales. Mm -hmm. And that's a tough thing to have to talk about with your child. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you went about it the right way at the right time, but I also honestly couldn't give you an exact date and time when it would have been pleasing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, Elisa, I think that you can see as you look at the bits and pieces of your life and your world that this man does truly love you. Mm -hmm. Even if he had that question in his mind, he still loves you. Mm -hmm. And from this point forward, you no longer have to deal with that question. Right. Correct. Now that we know that I am his, I'm hoping for a better relationship and move forward for a better relationship for us all. I like it. I, I do like too. And I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for this. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you for that. It is my pleasure. It's why we come every single day and why I love my job so much, mm -hmm. to see the smiles on all of your faces. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you.